Okay, we're going to look at multiplying fractions. Now, these are a little bit easier than adding and subtracting fractions because it doesn't matter if the bottom two numbers, the denominators, are different. All we need to do is multiply the top times the top and the bottom times the bottom. So as long as you know your tables, you're all good. So 2 times 3 would be 6, and 3 times 4 would be 12. We can now simplify that fraction, which we've learned in a previous video. So both of these numbers will divide by 6. So 6 divided by 6 is 1. 12 divided by 6 is 2. So our answer is 1 half. Let's try one more, just to make sure we know what to do. So we're going to have 1 fifth multiplied by 3 over 7. Okay, 1 times 3 is 3, and 5 times 7 is 35. We can't simplify this answer, so that's our final answer, 3 over 35. Dividing fractions. Okay, quite a simple way to do this and an easy method to remember. K, F, C. Now, the kernel's wrong. It doesn't actually stand for Kentucky Fried Chicken. It stands for keep, flip, and change. And that is the method we're going to use to divide our fraction. So, the keep means that we keep the first one the same. So we're going to have 1 over 3, as in the original. The flip means we flip the second fraction upside down. In other words, we inverse it. And the change means we change the divide. The opposite of divide, or the inverse of divide, is multiply. And then, we just continue as if we're doing a multiplication. 1 times 5 is 5, 3 times 4 is 12. We can't simplify the answer, so 5 over 12 is our final answer.